so a friend of mine had been at a shear from Rabbi Steinmetz, who's the new Rosh Kolal at the uh, West Coast Kolal at Eula, and he gave a, apparently a very powerful shear about the Aseret Sameh Tshuva, and he mentioned in his shear, he, doesn't, he heard that someone doesn't say Tzlichas in Aseret Sameh Tshuva, he didn't know who it was, he can't imagine who wouldn't say Tzlichas in Aseret Sameh Tshuva, this is what it's all about. So this morning I texted him, I said, by the way, Chabad doesn't say Tzlichas in Aseret Sameh Tshuva. So he writes back, why not? And then I was like, hmm, why not? I never really like, thought about why not. It's just like part of, you know, we don't, we don't do this, you know? So I looked it up, you know, Chabad.org, you can go on there and you'll see that there's a letter from the Rebbe where he wrote clearly that the um, Samach Tzedek brought down that, they, that in the Aserah Tshuva, we're kind of past the point of it all being about prayer. It's about action. And the Aserah Tzedek Tshuva is about action. And therefore, Chabad, someone else mentioned to me, they said, on Pesach, you want to be Svartic, and Aserah Tzedek Tshuva, you want to be Chabad. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but getting back to that point, it's that during these days, and whether you say Slichas or not, the idea that these days are supposed to be, we're supposed to be changing something in our daily life and what we're doing. So it's not just about getting up early and davening, that's good too. But it's like coming on a Thursday night instead of watching football and coming and getting inspired and listening to Torah and dancing and singing, that's doing something. And we've got three days left. It's, and I'm talking to myself and to everybody here and thinking about it. How is tomorrow going to be a different Friday than all our other Fridays? It has to be us doing something that will make this is a Friday of a Sarasimei Tshuva. And that's how we get ready for Yom Kippur. So I bless everybody. I bless myself that we think about that concept, the idea of action, and say, hey, what am I going to actually do tomorrow and on Shabbos and on Sunday so that we go into Yom Kippur and it's going to be the best Yom Kippur ever? Yeah. Yeah. Shabbos. Amen. I love that. That's the 10 days of action. 10 days of action.